Good evening, dear brothers and sisters. Today is the third day of the tree room. The theme is Ignatius the Pilgrim. We listen the gospel according to Mark. Calling the twelve to him, Jesus sent them out two by two and gave them authority over evil spirits. These were his instructions. Take nothing for the journey except a staff. No bread, no bag, no money in your bells. Wear sandals but not an extra tunic. Whenever you enter a house, stay there until you leave that town. And if any place will not welcome you or listen to you, shake the dust of your feet when you leave as a testimony against them. They went out and preached that people should repent. They drove out many demons and anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We pause for a brief moment to reflect on this important instruction of Jesus. Instructions to the twelve. All of us are pilgrims. Saint Ignatius the Pilgrim. The pilgrim, that was Saint Ignatius' self-image. A man on a ceaseless quest, always forging ahead and not at all inclined to look back, even as he neared journey's end. After his conversion, truly Ignatius was a pilgrim because he wanted to go to Jerusalem. But slowly he began to discover that his very life became a pilgrimage, even while he was general in Rome sitting at a desk. And so in his autobiography, 80 times he mentions himself being a pilgrim. Why? Because being a pilgrim is not just doing something but it is a way of life and what are those attitudes of a pilgrim the first attitude is the destination while every pilgrim has a destination some holy place for the attitude of life our destination is god as saint ignatius says right at the beginning of the spiritual exercises the goal of our life is to live with god forever so we have a very clear destination. No matter what we do, our destination is God. The second attitude is the attitude, the journey. And what is that journey? While a pilgrim would have the journey definitely to this holy place, you can go in different ways to that holy place. And that is also in our life. Ignatius, you see his destination at one time he wanted to go to Barcelona, but for Montserrat he ends up in Manresa for 11 months. He wants to go to Jerusalem, ultimately ends up studying in Paris. He wants to live a life alone serving people, he ends up forming a group. The only thing that matters is, Lord, what do you want me to do? See, his focus is God. Lord, what do you want me to do? The third attitude of a pilgrim is being unencumbered by baggage, carrying the minimum. I'm not burdened by the things that I have. Everything is given to me by God for one purpose, to come to God. Listen to what he says in the spiritual exercises. In everyday life then we must hold ourselves in balance before all these created gifts. We should not fix our desire on health or sickness, wealth or poverty, success or failure, a long life or a short life. We can add all the things that we have around our houses that we really need it or don't need it. For everything has a potential of calling forth in us a deeper response to our life in God. Then what is our only desire? Our destination, God. Our only desire and our one choice should be this. I want and I choose what better leads to God's deepening his life with me. Ignatius realized these beautiful attitudes that you have of a pilgrimage and therefore he made every Jesuit novice even till today go on a pilgrimage 
for 30 days to develop these attitudes for pilgrim let us pray lord teach me to be generous teach me to serve you as you deserve to give and not to count the cost to fight and not to heed the wounds to toil and not to seek for rest to labor not to ask for reward save that of knowing that i'm doing your holy will think about this ignatius was unencumbered by baggage on a scale of 0 to 10 what would you score yourself our response will be lord hear our prayers this repeat lord, lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers we pray that we may live like pilgrims in the in the refrain from building nests but like men or women on a mission we travel light in the service of Christ for this we pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer our home is heaven lord god help us to realize that we are mere pilgrims on this earth on our journey to heaven for this we pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer we pray that our focus be only on spiritual things rather than on material things for this we pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer please pray for your personal or local needs Father, in trust and love, we place all our petitions at your feet. Grant them according to your wisdom. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. wonderful sacrament have left us the memorial of your passion grant that we may so reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that the taste of the fruit of your redemption may ever be within us who lives and reigns forever and ever amen and may heavenly father bless each one of you and keep you safe from all harm and from every injury father son and the holy spirit amen the divine praises blessed be god blessed be his holy name Blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit the Paraclete. 
Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and his saints. Now join in the final hymn.